The Battle of Poju was fought in Poju, near Valga, Estonia, on 31 January 1919 during the Estonian War of Independence. After heavy fighting, the Tartu Valga group of the Estonian army pushed the Red Latvian riflemen out of the Poju Manor. It was the fiercest battle in the early period of war. Estonian commander Julius Kuperjanov fell in the fighting. Chapter 1 Background In early January 1919, Estonian forces had started a full scale counterattack against invading Soviets. Their main objective was liberating North Estonia, including Narva, which was achieved by 17 January. They then started to advance into South Estonia. On 14 January, the Tartumor Partisan Battalion, organized and led by Lieutenant Julius Kuperjanov, and armored trains liberated Tartu. At that time the only working railway connection to Riga, which the Red Army had captured on 3 January, passed through Valga, so defending it had strategic importance for Soviet Russia. Among other units, a large part of the elite Latvian riflemen, were sent to stop the Estonians. Commander-in-Chief Johann Leidener reinforced the Estonian advance in the south, including Finnish volunteers, the Sons of the North, led by Colonel Hans Kalm. Finnish General Paul Martin Wetzer became commander of the Southern Front. Chapter 2 Battle To liberate Valga it was necessary to capture Poju Manor. On 30 January Estonian partisans had captured it, but were soon pushed out. With his 300 men, two guns and 13 machine guns Cooper Janov decided to recapture Poju on 31 January. Armored trains were unable to support, due to the destruction of Sangaste Railway Bridge. The Latvian riflemen, had about 1,200 men with four guns and 32 machine guns. They were also able to rely on supported from a Soviet armored train and armored cars. The Tartimor Partisan Battalion attacked the manor directly over open fields. At 400 meters the Bolsheviks opened fire, inflicting heavy casualties. Kuperjanov led the attack personally, as usual, and was badly wounded, dying two days later. When he was hit, Lieutenant Johannes Sudler took command of the battalion. Finnish Sons of the North units with about 380 men arrived later, bringing with them four guns and nine machine guns. They also assaulted the manor in a frontal attack, which caused heavy losses. In the evening the Estonians and Finns finally pushed into the park of the estate where heavy hand-to-hand -hand combat started, which resulted in the capture of the manor. Retreating Latvian riflemen, were subjected to heavy fire. The next day the Estonians marched into Valga without resistance. Chapter 3 – Aftermath The bloody Battle of Poju resulted in the liberation of Valga the next day. The victory cut off the Soviets' railway supply line, and denied them the use of armored trains. Soon almost all of southern Estonia was liberated, and Estonian troops advanced into northern Latvia. To honor Julius Kuperjanov, who died of the wounds he sustained during the battle, on 2 February, the Tartumor Partisan Battalion was renamed Kuperjanov's Partisan Battalion. The current Estonian Defense Force still includes the Kuperjanov Battalion. The battle is commemorated by a granite monument on a three-step pyramid of earth, which was reopened by Estonian President Lennart Meri in 1994 on the 75th anniversary of the battle.